Well, there's a new drug in town. Uh, it's probably going to be approved, I'd imagine. It depends on if the panel votes one way or the other. Usually the FDA goes with whatever the panel says. And I'm trying to outweigh uh, if the benefits outweigh the possible side effects or whatever the heck it is. This is going to be a female Viagra. So, hey, you know. Anyway, you know, there's also natural Viagra out there, which you call like uh, Korean ginseng and... Yeah, actually, there's a lot of different stuff out there you could probably take that could improve libido. And to give you a little common sense, too, even with this supposed problem, uh, general health actually greatly is linked to sexual health to the max. I mean, you know, a lot of times if they prepackage something to be give you a sexual boost, it, it could be the same ingredients as something else that is not advertised as such. And, it, you know, if you buy it in a different way, it's a hell of a lot less money because, you know, it's not advertised to give you a sexual boost. There's more money in something that's involved to be, give a sexual boost. If they say it just, you know, gives you a little more energy, it gives you a little less depre depression, fine, you know. It, it's not a much money in there. So, you know, I got a feeling that this pill is going to have a, a pretty good markup. Now, one of the old standbys was Jack Daniels, but, you know, that's basically not a permanent solution for, you know, I guess, you know, it wouldn't be increased uh, libido, but maybe throwing off of inhibitions. But that's that's actually a different case. But, you know, that's been one of the things out there that's been used quite often by a lot of people that kind of just uh, make them a little more open and they just want to have a good time and they want to throw off their inhibitions. Now, the situation with female Viagra, usually it's something it's a totally different case because they're looking for a permanent solution. They're looking for like that permanent solution where they feel like they're Aphrodite's or whatever and they want to be in love and prove it to their partner. So in the case, well actually they have a, oh, you know, it's it's uh, it's just a word. And I'm not too big on to all these, you know, diagnoses, these diagnoses, these psychiatrists and psychologists put on people but they call it um, HSDD hypoactive sexual desire disorder which is basically a lack of or an absence of sexual fantasies and a desire for sexual activity so what this female Viagra is going to possibly do if it's approved it's probably going to be approved it's going to be available uh, you know probably right after August when they vote on it it's what it really is it's a type of antidepressant that's really what it is and it's some of the things that actually make people they feel depressed they feel like your relationship's not going well oh my husband doesn't love me you know all this kind of stuff these things you know that people think so they lose their desire and they I, I'm, I, I must have gained five pounds over the last five years and uh, you know I don't look good as well, uh, you know, so it, it just, you know, it's it's actually in people's minds, you know. Now, if it works, you know, there's a flip side to this because, you know, maybe the male might be thinking, oh, wow, you know, that'd be great. But, you know, you might be dealing with Wonder Woman and, you know, Wonder Woman is gonna, probably going to want a little more from you than probably you could probably give. So, you know, there's other flip side <laughs> Besides this, you know, but uh, I know the males are kind of thinking, oh, wow, you know, female Viagra. I think I could slip some of that in somebody's drink, you know, or something, you know, at least it's not like ecstasy or something. I don't know if it's going to work that good or anything like that, and I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't recommend that, but, uh, you know, it's a matter of, um, well, yeah, you know, actually the real, the real thing is that, you know, females, a sexually active female, or is uh, somebody a female that is in you know very good health and you know has a bright positive attitude could outperform a male almost all the time. There's no doubt about it. And um, you know you you could see this all the time in the in the sexual workers. That's for sure. But uh, you know it's probably going to change the attitude of females. That maybe you know if this pill does work as advertised. I have a tendency to think that there's probably other ways around this kind of stuff because if you feel like your mood is bad and that really it has to do with your your mood and sexual desire does have a lot to do with your 
basic body physiology, which in other words is your overall health. So if you do things to improve your mood, improve your health, you're going to be more sexual active. You know, that's, that's basically how that goes. But, you know, if this pill does work like a magic pill, it could really be opening up a whole other, you know, aspect of different things. And if you're dating somebody that is an athlete or she's very competitive and she's always writing down the times of her, you know, or triathlon or how, how fast she ran around the track or how fast she bicycled up a hill, she's probably going to be freaking taking a little roster of your performance in bed and, you know, giving you a lot of different areas where you should be, you know, improving your performance. And, you know, after a while, you might be saying, you know, it might be a little bit too much of a good thing. <laughs> so I don't know where this is actually going to go because I know a lot of males are like, yeah, 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 yeah. But, you know, if they ever deal with, uh, I don't think, well, I don't know how many males dealt with, um, you know, extremely horny women, um, but extremely horny women, if that's what this pill turns somebody into, and they're very, you know, they're very physical, they're very athletic, uh, you know, she's going to be far more for you than you can handle. So you're going to have an inverse repod problem, and I don't know if you need to be taking pills, but then you're not going to have any time to work, you know? So, because uh, <laughs> all you're going to be doing is making love all freaking day to Wonder Woman, right? So, you know, nothing is a panacea, and uh, it's almost like everything's got to be a damn balance. But I think I'm going to put some more inf information out on this type of stuff, because there's a lot more natural stuff out there. i got a lot of books on, um, well, various subjects, in what nutrition, how nutrition affects different things in the body. And, you know, it's a good rule, of, good rule to just basic rule to go by is, General overall health does improve your outlook on life. It gives you a positive attitude, which helps you with, you know, feeling like your self-worth is good, and which means that you are feeling fine to have, you know, sexual relations right there because you're not feeling like you're down on yourself or anything like that. I feel like I'm not this, I'm not that, or I'm not this good or whatever. You know, that's usually what the problem is with the female. They just feel like... They're not that hot anymore or something like that. And then it just kind of slows them down. So, uh, but you know, this pill, if it actually does all this stuff, it's probably going to be worth more than Jack Daniels. But, uh, you know, it's it's where you have to get in mind, though, is like there's nothing really, I really have to say, there really is nothing that is a real magic pill. There's nothing better than um, overall health to improve your 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 sexual activities and whatever you know it's nothing better than that so anyway so you know there's there's women that have been with you know five thousand guys in a year you know literally <laughs> it sounds crazy but that's true and you know I don't want to get anybody all bent out of shape by saying that but you know, if the pill does that to somebody, I don't know if that's going to be a desirable effect. I don't know if it's going to be that damn good, but, you know, and I know the males may think, oh, that's great, it's great, but uh, you'll see. <laughs> There's, I, you know, because and actually a woman that is in extremely, you know, healthy condition and has a very, very strong sexual desire, uh, no male can put up. Could, could keep up with her there's no doubt about it you know it's just that um they're geared to uh you know getting her getting her money first whatever the hell it is or whatever. <laughs> whatever man but you know actually this pill i see as a side note though the one thing is um the pill the pill itself the woman is satisfied maybe she's not going to be uh it might be a very good thing in this respect is that you know, if you're in a marriage relationship and she's constantly like thinking, I have to upgrade the kitchen, I have to freaking change the outside of the house, I need a new car, I need new furniture, and blah, I need to go somewhere, we need a vacation. You know, if it's if you get a more gratifying sexual experience more often, uh, she might be not be thinking about these things as much, so that might be good too. So it probably might save you a lot of money in the long run. But then again, if she's a very athletic female and she takes this pill, and she's constantly writing down her performance, you know, how fast she ran around the track, 
how fast you went, you know, 50 miles on a bicycle, uh, you're probably going to have a problem as a male with her because she's going to out freaking perform you and she's going to be demanding and keeping track of every little thing you do and writing it down on a wall above the, you know, the headboard and you're going to be like, holy shit, what the hell did I get myself into? But anyway, you know, maybe that'll be a bad situation later on. But, you know, until that situation comes about, that might be a damn good thing. So anyway, um, female Viagra, a new interesting subject to ponder. Uh, it should be out, and I think the board is going to vote for it unanimously and prove it, even though it might have some side effects. I don't know what the side effects would be. I don't know. She's going to stand on her head or something. I don't know what the hell the side effects are going to be. They said there's some side effects, but basically it's an antidepressant type thing where people feel better about themselves and blah, blah, blah. So they're more apt to have sex and enjoy sex and they're in a good mood and blah, blah, blah. So, you know. And you don't have to be drunk with Jack Daniels, so there you go.